Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today's video is about a guide on Skylanders, okay? I'm just gonna go through with you what are the best units to pick to start off with and also the reason why you should start off with these units, okay? So I'll just summarize the whole video into one short sentence. Do not invest in legendaries. Do not invest on heroics. Okay, heroics might be acceptable, but not on legendaries. Here is why. Let me explain to you bit by bit, okay? So you have here Evolve, Awaken, Super Boost, and Transcend. Basically, all of these are very hard to do with a legendary unit. I'll just show you here. Evolving a legendary unit takes 20 of these, and for a normal unit, it's 10. And same goes to Awakening. Awakening takes 160 of these, this takes 80 of this. So it's double the required amount of resources with, if you compare legendary to a rare. Premium is the same as rare, okay? So legendary is the expensive one. For skills, this thing is hard to come by. The only way to get it easily is combining all these baby ones. And look at, I mean like, this is scars, yeah? because. Legendaries have a lot of skills. You might want to max everything and that's if you can max everything on to the next point Which is relating to the skill up as well the number of skill ups your max level of skill is Dependent on your super boost if you are zero super boost You can only skill up one time if you are max super boost then you can go all the way so having that said um, legendaries are hard to come by it's hard to super boost and therefore you cannot even skill them up even if you have crazy tons of skill up stones okay please bear that in mind because skill ups are so important okay the reason why i said that is on to my other point which is the fact that they have very high mana consumption mana consumption is important yeah it, maybe you're just starting out you don't really see the difference but trust me it makes a difference like as you can see here with without skill ups this is using three this is using five okay and then this is okay okay this is nothing all right so this for example five and then it doesn't do much uh you know so like mana is very important in a battle the more mana you use, basically, the lesser units can attack during that turn. And the lesser units that can attack that turn, it basically means that you take longer to reduce the endurance on the enemy, meaning it's harder for you to knock them down. You don't want that? Really, you don't want that. Because I was running my Nightmare. It's a dark legendary. I was like, oh, I need to play her. But look at this. Four mana here, three mana here, four mana here. And let's have a look at my main DPS's, uh, Elf and also Tough Luck. Two mana, two mana, two mana, two mana. So basically his one skill is equivalent to two of this guy's skill. And having that said, this doesn't do as much as this guy. Because this guy is not super boosted to the max. He's not skilled up to the max and... He's definitely um, losing some stats from super boost as well. Yeah. So having all that said and done, a premium or a rare can definitely out damage a legendary if the legendary is not super boosted. Of course, if you have, I think, two super boost, uh, maybe th three, then it will be okay. Because you need to up your skills. That's the thing. Yeah, look at this skill. It is actually viable if you have it at level 7. Look at this. This is only 2 mana at max. This is only 1 mana at max. I mean, yeah, definitely you want to go for max level if possible. But then, if you ask me what's the acceptable level to use legendary, I mean super boost level, I would say 2 or 3, yeah. 2 maybe you can put him in already. But if you're running like a bomb team, you need Spitfire in there, then you have to run him even if it's, uh, you know, zero super boost because he detonates bombs. We'll get to heroes in just a bit. Skylanders, I mean. Okay, so having all that said, do not 
be too crazy on the legendaries it's nice to have shinies and all like trust me i do have quite a few and i'm just sitting on them and not using them at all i am so lucky to super boost her once okay it's not that easy to pull a dark legendary let alone super boost one but yeah i still cannot use her and also one more thing if you do not super boost you cannot get this slot okay i am lucky to super boost her so i can put shoe on her Poor boy Ambush here has no super boost, no boots for him even. You're missing out one slot worth of stats. That's crazy if you ask me. Okay. So at least one. Please get at least one super boost before you use the legendary. So they unlock this slot. This one will unlock at 6 star evolution. But yeah, this boot slot will not unlock. I mean this, this one on the right, okay. Will not unlock if you do not have a super boost, okay. So having all that said and done, I hope you understand why are we going to focus more on premium and rare units instead of legendaries, okay? So for what you should pick, I would definitely suggest Stink Bomb as the heroic you go for, but it depends on your playstyle, yeah? If you want nuke, like high damage kind of thing, maybe you want to go Smolder Dash or maybe you want to go um, Super Shot Stealth Elf. Um, I myself went with Stink Bomb, okay, because I like his uh, his skills, yeah, it's crazy, because at max, he does Diminish plus Poison on his first skill. Poison and Diminish is something that you really want to look out for, because these are very, very good debuffs to have on the enemy, at least for now, okay? There are a couple meta teams right now, basically full out damage, full uh, Poison, and also Bomb. A diminished team you can use also. I mean, to be honest, it all depends on you. So, things to look out for. Cheap units. You can look out for the ones that I'm using. I'm using Stealth Elf. I'm using Tough Luck. Premium unit, rare unit. Okay? I have lots of other units. But, I only use these because it's cheap. Okay? Cheap. Cheap as hell. And they do very good damage, okay? They do not they do not sub, trust me, they're good. Okay, and this girl here deals poison on his first skill. And this guy here deals poison on his first skill as well. So if you if you put Stink Bomb and them together, everyone's inflicting poison. You can use ambush as well because he has poison uh, on his leader skill, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if you get critical hit, that person gets a poison. Very nice if you ask me. So and also we have Bloom Bloom, yeah. Bloom Bloom is also very good for poison team. Um, basically, hold on for a sec. Basically, uh, it multiplies uh, continuous effect. Okay. And then poison. Here we have poison as well. If one of the team da 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 da. Holy hope! Oh, I mean, if you're attacked with critical hit, da 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 da. Additionally, grants poison effect times three for four sins on the enemy that inflicted the damage that caused you to be defeat, defeated. That's if you die, okay? It's, you don't want it. Well, we don't want this to happen, but yeah, but basically, this one detonates poison, okay? Bloom Bloom is great in the poison team. It's almost a must have, but again, I would suggest stay away from legendaries, okay? I made it quite far with all these three units, okay? So, yeah. There you have it. So in there itself, I recommended two legendaries, right? Bloom Bloom and Ambush. I would suggest Bloom Bloom over Ambush because Ambush is very niche. Um, Bloom Bloom would be better if you want to choose like between these two. Okay, moving on to boom uh, to the bomb team. Basically, just look for anyone with bomb skill and then use it with Spitfire because Spitfire can detonate bombs. Yeah. Hold on while I pull him up here. Okay, Spitfire detonates bombs. Yeah, this one stimulated explosion. Okay, so basically. It explodes every bomb on the enemy. So you put your whole team with bombs and then just put bombs, put bombs, put bombs, and this guy will detonate them. Okay, if you're from Sumner's War, basically this is a Sierra. So really nice, but then again, a legendary. Uh, it's expensive to use him, okay? I did not go with him because of that reason. Okay, then um, for what bombers are good, I think all are good, but look out for bombers that have maybe knockback or maybe more in their kit than just bombs i mean you can try to look for that but i think smolder dash is the one that you're looking for if i'm not mistaken smolder dash is super good okay you have bombs you have defense break which is not that big in this game 
earlier on especially because the defense break is just 10 percent not like other games which goes up to 70 percent in epic 7 50 percent in summoner sword i think 50 percent i'm not too sure but 10 percent armor break is not too crazy yeah you don't you don't need to go crazy for armor break in this game especially in early game it's good to have though so having all that said smolder dash best heroic bomber without destination spitfire is the detonator if you want to play bomb team that's your go-to is blast zone a bomber as well yeah he is you can also build him if you want to play the bomber team moving on we 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 have people playing the full dps team uh, whereby basically this guy is a must-have every turn he will give attack up to the entire team and this guy is normally coupled with igniter and also uh, because he does a lot of damage okay defense down evasion rate down and then he, he increases his damage but if you're below 50 and then basically a lot of damage and he can knock down okay you want to look for units that can knock down because knockdown is very important uh, knockdown is basically like a stun at the uh if once the endure is depleted like the enemy's endure is depleted uh when it reaches zero then you have a knockdown knockdown is a stun so it's very good to have if you guys are unfamiliar with the term knockdown and all that i'll make a video on like all the what do you call it uh negative buffs on enemies uh maybe you go through them one by one but you can just simply read them and then most probably you'll get the hang of it yeah just take some time off and just read you'll be fine okay fine i know you came here for a guide and then i asked you to go read but then that we'll cover in another video um igniter ember super shot stealth elf is also very good if you just want pure damage because she does, he does a lot of damage okay and he has this thing for him if you grant the stealth effect on yourself your crit rate goes up your crit damage goes up okay and then you can grant just <laughs> you can grant stealth yourself which is crazy i mean like he, he does a lot of damage and then he, he self buffs very nice unit as well okay i personally would suggest you to go with this guy here and this one really cheap and really strong okay trust me on this one okay if you're not if you're not sure like hell nah i don't know what to pick what to play these two are good okay and if you like ninjini you can use her as well because she, her kit is quite good it's basically vanilla damage dealer and she has diminish diminish is also very good almost as good as poison but i feel poison is better yeah so there we have that okay um that's the reason why i feel like uh, i mean like these are the monsters that i feel like you should look out for um of course sorry i almost forgot best healer in the game easiest to get easiest to super boost flash wing uh, we have other great uh support units like healers and shields and whatnot but he is a rare unit and you get one for free and cheap unit cheap cheap is key okay if you choose all the flashy units and cannot super boost them cannot awaken them cannot evolve them cannot skill them up then they're useless okay having a ferrari without engine is of no good trust me bro okay so now we have that and yeah kaboom is also quite good i heard from people saying that he's quite good deals a lot of damage somehow but it depends on you moving on to the last point even after i said all of that shit i feel like you should go out there and play whatever the fuck you want to play because i played with spyro even though like everyone said he's trash okay everyone told me he's trash do not build him he doesn't have poison he doesn't have bombs why are you building him well um i like him because first of all he's the first rare that i super boosted to the max you have to play with what you have you know what i'm saying it's like you're playing a card game and you have to play the hand that was dealt to you so i max spiral first and the rest came later ninjini is the only other rare i got maxed i think it's still early into the game premium units i mean like these two are not i'm not too crazy about them so basically i do not have that many super boosted as you can see rather free to play i just spent like maybe five us dollars and that's about it so i got him max first so that's why i'm using him in your case, maybe you got Ninjini Max first, and hell yeah, you need a third DPS. You just build her, you know? I think she'll do great. Especially now we're in the early game, almost everything can help you clear the content in this game. We only have uh, the campaign mode, uh, basically the adventure mode, 
and also uh, Cyclops to farm your gears. The whole game revolves around clearing stages and if you're stuck you go to Cyclops and if you're stuck you go I mean like once you have enough then you go back to clearing your campaign rinse and repeat having all of that said go out there and just do whatever the fuck you want to do like for reals <laughs> yeah because I recommended this 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 that that just stay away from legendaries just stay away from heroic if you have shit luck and if you have one fully super booster, I, I would go uh, and invest on one. But then, as you can see, like I have shit luck for heroics. I have none like highly super boosted, not at least the one that I'm interested in. I really like Sting Bomb, but I cannot seem to use him because I do not have enough uh, super boost on him. Roller Brawl is super good as well, okay? Why super good? Diminution Poison on first skill, including a knockdown fucking insane dude he's really good to all units okay to all units all aoe diminish plus poison but that's if you can max super boost her because you need her to be at max skill okay having all that said what's in your mind now should be fuck everything i have to super boost da 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 da, da. so i can't play with a lot of units what the fuck is this shit game Calm down because like what I'm five days into the game and I am aware that there's an event going on now that we're getting a lot of summons but I've already pulled like what one two three four five six this is free okay just don't count her five plus two of nightmare so that's seven seven legendaries ultimately when you uh, I mean like when you play like a couple of months you definitely will get legendary copies and that's when you start building them but until then please play with premium and rare units okay um, I can show you my progress like uh, I started just a couple of days ago where is the one that you can see the number of days I don't think this is it is it in mission Hold on for a sec while I find that. Um, login events, yeah. So basically, I'm on my day six already. Okay, I started late on day one, and then now I'm on my day six already. So day six, I've cleared adventure up to hard one, and I've managed to clear uh, Cyclops four auto. Um, next is five, but then five is kind of hard if you compare it to four. So there you have it, and I did it with this team. Yeah, this is my team. These four units here. Nightmare is just a trophy unit, okay? <laughs> I just cannot let go of the fact that he's a legendary dark unit. But yeah, these are the units that I used to climb this far. I wanted to play with Tomato Guy because he's cute, but he just isn't doing much, okay? So I went with these four units instead. This is not a vanilla team. I mean, like, this is not a vanilla unit. Basically, a lot of people will advise you to, I mean, like, to not play him. But, as I mentioned, you should play whatever you got. Okay, having all that said, I hope you have a clearer picture of what you should pick. Like, what you should summon for. What you should look out for. Look out for poison, diminish bombs. Look out for all this effect in your kits. Um, for the names that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I'll just give a quick wrap up. Stink Bomb, Stealth Elf, Tough Luck, Roller, Bra Roller Brawl, Bloom Bloom, Ambush. I know these are legendary units, but I mean, like, I would recommend Bloom Bloom. She's really good. Ambush, maybe not so much. Smolder Dash, Boomer, uh, what? Blast Zone? Uh, Spitfire Bomb Team. Igniter, a lot of damage. Ember, very good support. I mean, the attack buff, and she deals a lot of damage as well. Legendary unit though. Super shot stealth elf for like pure DPS. And maybe you can use Ninjini as well. Because Ninjini is quite good as a vanilla damage dealer. Yeah, she does decent with her kit. And best healer, Flashwing. Uh, you can use Grilla Drilla, but I would suggest just use Flashwing, dude. Just use Flashwing. And what about all the tanks? They're for PvP from the way I look at it. So you should keep them till later. Yeah, don't build any provoke units for now. I know it seems cool and all, but in Cyclops, he just smacks everyone anyway. So just go with 3 DPS, 1 healer. There you have it from me. That's all the tips I have for you today. 
It's rather long video, but I hope you enjoyed it and made it till the end. I will keep uploading videos on Skylanders. Hope you enjoyed this one. More to come. Thank you all. Peace out, motherfuckers.